say today because it's my birthday. <laughs> I've decided that I'm no longer going to keep going up in years. I'm just going to stay here now for I don't know, another 10 years. So happy 34th birthday to me for the next 10 years. So if anyone asks ever again, 34 okay um so me being the most luckiest girl in the whole wide world i didn't ask for lingerie for my birthday because that would be too uh, stereotypical instead i asked my husband to buy me some fabric to make knickers and bras so i got some fabric and i'm gonna share it with you let's go okay so i know it's not exactly a present if you know how much it costs but <laughs> he also knows that I need um, content for the YouTube videos. So he gave me the invoice, which is very, very, very kind of him. Um, and also, I didn't know that sewing chest, is it sewing chest? Sewing chest do like remnant bags and discount bags and stuff like that. So really luckily for me, I have got two discount bags of lace, one bargain bag and a mixed lucky dip bag. And I'm going to share them with you now. So, these are the two, don't mind me, lace bags. Now, I have inside here a whole collection, I'm going to put that one down there, of different laces. How gorgeous, oh look, can you see this one has got some gold detail. How lovely is that? And I've got, I'm just going to pop them down there. This one, can you see them? Maybe if I do it that way. That'd be a bit easier for you to see. That one with the nice flowers on it. These ones, I really like the dark colours, actually. So that is very me for my underwear. As is that one. How gorgeous is that? And it's all stretch lace as well, which I'm going to use. I mean, obviously I'm not gonna make underwear with all of this that would be mad but I am gonna make although you can see that one's got <laughs> safety pins still attached bargain bag bargain bag not safety pins staples still attached oh how pretty is that one I am loving that and that one so that entire bag came to three pound let's see if the other one is as good as well for all of those pieces of lace. I mean, honestly, I don't think you could get a metre for three pound, but you get, I've got all those extra bits. And then these ones, oh look. Nice white one. Oh, what is that? Looks like skulls. Oh yeah. Oh, nice. So that's that one. Oh no, they're all gonna get mixed up in the wrong bag. That one, which looks like, oh, let's go that side. Oh no, still just the same. Um, black one. Oh, this one's got stars on it. <gasps> nice little, <gasps> how cute is that? I'm so excited about what I'm going to make with all of this. I just, at the moment, can you see the orange in that one? Not really. Oh, it's because it's on the other side, that's why. Look at that. How pretty is that? Oh, look at these. And like I said, they're all stretchy. And again, this bag was £3. So I have got all of those pieces of lace for six pound. I mean, I'm not entirely sure how much, I could make half a bralette or a tiny pair of knickers. I mean, luckily, it's the kind of, you know, thingy floss knickers that I wear, but those, three pound each for the bag, for all those pieces of lace. Bargain, right? I got it wrong. Those bags were eight pound each. Lot really, isn't it? Anyway, they were still really, really good value. This one, this bad boy, was three pound. C50 mixed. C50 mixed. Three pound. And this is what does it say? Lucky dip, bargain bag, bra making fabrics. Mixed. Mixed. So this 
It's got all my cuppage in it. So I'm guessing that sewing chest only does lingerie. So they do, um, because I was looking to start with, and they do packs of like, so you can buy just the right amount of fabric and you can buy all the gubbins that go with it, like um, the hook and eyes and the straps and the elastics and things like that. And they do it in a pack with a pattern, but they're about 25 pound. And I was like, oh, that's a bit expensive. And um, hubby being tight as he is, you know, not called the fun frugal family for nothing, was like, well, let's see what else we can do. So his thinking behind getting all of these fabrics and all these um, bargain bags was that I can practice as much as I like and I can get it as wrong as I like and I will still en definitely end up with at least one good bra out of it. So I quite like that. And then he was like, well, if you really get on with it, then you can get a pack. And I've had a little look at, because like I said, the packs come with the patterns as well. But I've seen some really nice patterns on mood fabrics, which I will insert. Did I do it? Um, I hope I did it. So I can get those fabrics and the pattern for free and have as many goes as I like for an absolute bargain. So this is what came in the actual three pound one. Remember the lace ones were eight pound each. Sorry about that guys. <laughs> um, so I have got some inner linings. Ooh. There's not my skin tone, my friend. But I suppose it is a bit of a, it's a bit of a nude. <laughs> not, not my nude. Um, definitely not my nude, but nice. Is that single or a double? So it's it's another stretch. It's like a lace, actually, isn't it? That one, um, a bit more of a sporty power mesh. And as you can see, the pieces are definitely big enough to get well, big enough for me to get two cups out of. If you can hear the kids shouting, it's because it's half term. And despite it being my birthday, I've asked them to be quiet. <laughs> Do they listen? No, that's okay. <laughs> all I want for my birthday is well behaved children if you could send me one or like some super nanny or something that'd be great thanks um that one's quite nice that color's not showing up particularly well on the screen but it's like a really aquary greeny blue it's really nice um and again some white what else have I got oh more my kind of nude that's oh well I mean Again, doesn't show up, but that's more, more nudie me. Although that bit's a bit smaller, I think. Oh no, not too bad. Wouldn't be too bad. Probably got to stop getting them on, putting them up on my boobs, haven't I? Oh, bit of a chopped one. Is a bargain bag after all, it's lucky dip. What you get is what you get, my friend. But yeah, this one really was three pound. And I've got so many choices and chances to just play and have a go and see what I like. I wonder if I could get a pair of, how much fabric do you need for a pair of knickers? Probably more than that, I'm guessing. Unless you could have two-tone knickers, that would look quite good. I haven't been able to find a knickers um, sewing pattern yet, a free one, not paying for one. Um, so if anyone does know of a good free sewing pattern, for um, knickers, then please do put it in the comments so that everybody can try it out as well as me. Oh, those ones are, it's just a jersey. That'd be so soft, lovely. And a nice bright orange one. And, oh, I like this. Oh yes, guys. Oh yes, oh, I'm so in. Imagine that with, a bit of orange overlay. <gasps> Amazing. <laughs> right, on to the next bag. Guys, I think I can officially say I'm spoiled. Absolutely spoiled. Not only did I get all of this fabric as well, but I got so many other presents as well. I'm really, really, really lucky. I got these shoes that I was absolutely desperate for. I got, oh, I got an ironing board, like a little, um, tabletop ironing board because I'm really fed up with getting the ironing board out every time I need to sew um, and I could just got loads and loads of presents so I'm really really lucky but this is the big mystery bag this one was £12 and it came with it's got a pattern in it not sure 
if I'm going to be using that anytime soon. But nevertheless, nevertheless, it will probably come in handy somewhere. You know, like when you do, when you see patterns, you're like, hmm, don't like that. And then, like three months later, you're like, oh, if I'd have, if I'd have kept hold of that pattern. It would have looked really nice in this fabric or that fabric. And sometimes it's not the pattern, is it? It's what you put, what fabric you use to go with it. So that came in it. And then, so this was, let me read it out to you. Mystery ba bargain bag, remnants for bra and lingerie. Wait a minute. Is that the same as the other one? No, because that was the lucky dip bargain bag. And this is the mystery bargain bag. <laughs> I wonder what the difference is between a lucky dip and a mystery. How exciting. Um, basically, this has got, yet again, loads of pieces of lace and fabrics. Oh, longer pieces of fabric. Starting to see why it was why it was more. Because look, I can definitely get, let me put this down. I can definitely get a pair of knickers out of that. My arse is not that big that I can't get something out of that. Oh, it's a nice big granny pants out of those ones. That'll be amazing. Um, what else have I got in here? So, fabrics galore. Nice big pieces of fabric as well, actually. But I've also got things like, can you see in there? All the little clips and the bra strap bits. Do you see them? So those on their own are an absolute fortune. So that's a so that's a real bargain to be able to have those. Leave them up there. And then I've got elastics for um, straps. Tiny little bit of lace. Right, so I could cut that in half. That would be really cute, wouldn't it? I should have worn a different top so that you could see all of these um, straps ideal or oh no giving that one interesting and then some more so as well as all of these oh look <laughs> all this so you can see it's a bargain as in like what are we on mystery or lucky dip whichever one it is because like part of this is half cut <laughs> like someone's cut out of it and it's got the sticker on it still. Oh dear. The Sun Hing Textile Hong Kong Limited. Oh no, I might get told off if I say that out loud. Pretend I didn't say that. And those are, it's just so much more and more and lacy bits and more lacy bits and more stringy bits. What is that? Is that like for underwire? For underneath? I think it is. Is that enough for me? Yeah, just about. Uh, more lace. This bargain one's really good. Honestly, like these guys. So I will show you in a second what, um, oh look, and some nice thick padded stuff. Love me a padded cup. Need me a padded cup, more like. And then the final couple of bits of fabric. I know I haven't shown you everything in this one. I'm really sorry, but it's because you're probably bored of me just holding stuff up and looking through it. Oh, I like that one. And then, oh, this is quite similar to the other Lucky Dip. We've got to the Lucky Dip part of the mystery bag. <laughs> the mystery was there's a Lucky Dip in it. Um, and those bits and this one. Oh, look, this one looks like old... Um, the old Kardashian Spanx, isn't it? What are they called? The Kim Kardashian ones. I can't remember, but she had to change their name, didn't she? Hmm. Like it? Like it. So that is the mystery bag. That one was £12 for all of that stuff. And I'm going to show you. So Hubby did pay full price for one thing, which was the... Um, what was it called? It's the refill pack of the elastic top up kit, which is for one of the sewing, one of the bra packs. I'll show you. So this is the only full price thing in the whole of it. Not that I'm saying my husband's cheap, you know, we've been through the reasons behind it. So this was £4.50 and in here you get, can you see the bag? 
you get 19 millimeter shoulder strap of elastic, one meter, plus two 40 millimeter and two 20 millimeter rings and two 20 millimeter sliders in lilac enameled metal, which I'm assuming are these things. Um, bra plush elastic, one and a half meters and one meter of lilac plush, used for underband, clear elastic, all from the sewing chest. So, yeah, you can't see it very well in there, but it's all there. I'm not going to open it out because I'll just get really confused and really, um, I won't know how to put it all back and then I'll lose it and then it'll be a nightmare. But yeah, that's all my haul from um, the sewing chest. How awesome is all of that? The whole thing, including postage, came to 40 quid. And I swear, you can literally buy two good bras for 40 quid. And I'm going to be making, well, I don't know how many successful bras I'm going to be making, but I'm going to be making a lot of bras for my 40 quid. So again, if anybody has a pattern for a pair of knickers, um, I mean, the bigger the better, my friend. I've had four kids and I've been married for... 16 years so I don't really need like sexy cute undies anymore <laughs> that ship has, ship has sailed um if anybody has a pattern for undies please put them in the comments so that um both I and other people can work out the patterns and if anybody wants to buy the sewing chest mystery bags or the lucky dips or anything else like that then I will put the links in the bottom I'm just gonna really run through because I'm a div and got the prices wrong I'm just gonna go through so the mystery bag the big one that I just did was £12 the lucky dip bargain bag was £3 the all the stretch fabrics that was £8 a bag and then the refill was £4.50. So all of that plus shipping came to £40.49p and, and that's my weekend sorted. Woohoo! So that's all my bargains. Thanks guys for watching me as ever. I, uh, I'm going to be spending the rest of the day eating my emotions and not feeling old at all. Um, and generally getting the kids to do stuff. I've already moaned at them because they didn't tidy their rooms and I was like, it's my birthday, you've got to tidy your room. So I'm hoping that that's what all the noise and the banging's about is that that's them doing dutifully children-y stuff on mummy's birthday. So thanks guys, um, I really hope, as my birthday treat, please oh please oh please can you like, subscribe and then like maybe share it with some of your friends as well because that would really make my birthday and I'd be really really happy. I'm at like 91 subscribers, I know that's like ridiculous for some people because they've got like actual millions of subscribers but 91's a really big deal for me so if we could get to 100 by the time I'm 30 Oh, I'm going to say 34, I forgot. By the time my next birthday rolls around, that would be amazing. Thanks, guys. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I will speak to you next week. Bye, guys. Oh, I see. Gimbal doesn't want to work today, so I'll just... Uh, I'll just talk from here. Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys. Oh, I'm a bit wonky as well. <sighs> uh, it's my birthday. Why can't things work? <laughs>